Christmas visits to all of us. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Five Vocational High School, Bandung. My name is Jenny Tarah Malaysia. And my name is Muhammad Ibrahim Aji. We will present the results of our study entitled Relation Between Self-Control and Adolescent Sexual Delinquency During the COVID-19 Pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic is still spreading around the world, which has been declared as a pandemic by WHO. To control the spreading of the virus, many regions have decided to quarantine their people. This quarantine procedure will certainly have an impact on the psychological condition of adolescents. At this time, adolescents are required to have an open view towards every change. But not infrequently, the freedom of this view will always result in adolescent delinquence. According to Sardwano, aspects of adolescent delinquence include aggressive behaviors, impulsive, violating identity, opposing authority, and endangering themselves or others. One form of adolescent delinquency that is ranked among adolescents is sexual behavior that is not in accordance with the norm of the society. Every human behavior must be controlled either by environmental rules or oneself which is called self-control. Goldfriend and Merbaum state that self-control is an ability to direct or regulate and arrange all forms of behavior that can have positive consequences. So, it can be concluded that self-control is the individual's ability to compose, regulate, and suppress impulsive behavior or brings negative consequences. This research aims to find out that there's a relation between self-control and adolescent sexual delinquency through the positive and negative perspective. This research uses quantitative methods that aim to obtain and calculate data for many respondents to get the desired result. The data collection technique uses random sampling techniques, which means that the population is large and homogeneous and the number of samples taken is also large. The sample population in this study were teenagers, both boys and girls, in the age ranging from 13 to 19 years old in Bandung City. The data collection technique from this research was carried out by distributing online questionnaires using Google Form to get a more diverse and random sample while preventing the spread of COVID-19. The questionnaires contain 85 statements with 45 positive statements and 40 negative statements. After the research data in the form of respondents' answers to the numbers distributed were then collected, then the data analysis was carried out with the help of an analysis tool in the form of the SPSS version 22 for Windows software, with a validation test sequence and then a reliability test sequence. The data analysis method used in this study is the product moment correlation technique from Carl Pilsen. Then, first carried out an assumption test of the research data, namely the normality test, to determine whether the distribution of research data for each variable had spread normally, and the linearity test, namely to find out whether the variables have a linear relation or not. Then, proceed with hypothesis testing on the condition that it has met the normality test and linearity test. Whether the research data is normal or not can be seen from the value of the established test criteria, that is, if the significance value is more than 0.05, the data is normally distributed, whereas if the significance value is less than 0.05, the data is not normally distributed. Hypothesis testing analysis is used to test the research hypotheses that have been proposed in this study. In this study, researchers use product moment correlation analysis techniques with the help of the SPSS version 22 program. Product moment correlation analysis is an analysis to measure the linear closeness between two variables that have normal data distribution. If the correlation index number is minus, it means that the correlation has a negative correlation direction. If the correlation index number is marked with plus or not given any sign, it indicates that the direction of the correlation is a positive correlation. Based on the results of the validity test, there are several items that are invalid, namely items number 46 and item number 47, from a total of 85 items. 
This is because the calculated R value is smaller than the R table. Invalid items were not used in data collection because all valid items represented all the indicators contained in the questionnaire and the percentage of the instrument validity was 97.6%, which state very high validity. According to Sujawani, a questionnaire is said to be reliable if the Cronbach's alpha value is more than 0.6. Based on the results of the reliability test in Table 3, it is known that Cronbach's alpha value 0.955 is more than 0.6, and 0.966 is more than 0.6. So that this questionnaire is said to be reliable and has a high interpretation. Based on Table 4, the normality test results show that the significance value is 0.200 is more than 0.05 so it can be concluded that the residual value is normally distributed. Based on Table 5, it is known that the significance value for the influence of self-control as variable x simultaneously on adolescent sexual delinquency as the variable y is 0 0.000 which is less than 0 0.05 and the f value is 246.892 is more than f table 4.03 so it can be concluded that there is an effect of simultaneous self-control on sexual delinquency with a linear direction of influence. The last analysis is hypothesis testing analysis. This hypothesis test analysis is used to test the research hypotheses that have been determined. Based on table 6, the significance value is 0 0.000, which is less than 0 0.05 for both variables. In other words, there is a relationship between self-control and sexual delinquency and both are significant. The negative sign at minus 0 0.910 indicates that the relationship between two variables is a negative relationship, meaning that the higher value of self-control, the lower the sexual deficiency, and vice versa. From the result of the linearity test, a significance value of 0 0.000 less than 0 0.05 was obtained with a value 246.892 more than F table 4.03 so it can be concluded that there is an effect of simultaneous self-control on adolescent sexual delinquency with a linear influence. These results are also supported by the significance value in the correlation test of 0 0.000 less than 0 0.05 with a degree of relationship of minus 0 0.910, which means that the self-control has a high influence on adolescent sexual delinquency in a negative direction. With the direction of the negative influence, it shows that the greater the value of self-control, the lower the value of adolescent sexual delinquency and vice versa. The lower the value of self-control, the greater the value of adolescent sexual delinquency. This research can be used as a consideration to anticipate sexual behavior that violates the norm for adolescents, especially during the, the current COVID-19 pandemic. This research can also be used by educational institutions to develop the character of adolescents who are more educated and have more quality. It is also hoped that the adolescents will further improve self-control, understand and learn about self-control and sexual behavior that violates the norms in society. Because basically, self-control has a very important role in regulating people's life, in preventing negative behavior, such as premarital sexual behavior that many teenagers do. Things like this need to be prevented because they can have an impact on oneself and or others. We, as a research, we are aware that this research is not perfect, but we hope that this research can be continued by further research with a wider spread of data and better methods to analyze the data obtained. That's all from us. Thank you very much. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.